Welcome back, guys. Another episode of the Ranch Sim Relaxed. Uh, not relaxed, but what we're calling this series. I forgot. It's the uh, realistic ish uh, playthrough kind of thing. We've got sausage ready. I need to get the sausage out of here real quick. By the way, guys, you notice something a little bit different. And that is because I need some off uh, camera playtime because I need to get some stuff going. Uh, what I've accomplished uh, in the last few hours of playing would have taken three videos. To get done and it just needs to be done you know what i'm saying we, we can't oh i got it's uh raw in there you take that out of there uh but where's my empty coolers there we go but yeah you, as you can see already some stuff and things got accomplished i mean that's nothing new you know i i, I, I uh just did a lot of uh grinding on the sausage and the cheese uh the goat cheese and got these guys now making uh, making things a lot easier and of course we have three of these now i think i had those in the last video get that going and um uh, as you can see some of the pig, different with the pigs um uh the uh two other ones that were pregnant had their babies they had a lot of babies and uh these are the females i have here and i've got them um, i moved all of the males over here so once these guys get all grown uh we'll be able to slaughter these uh, when, they're, when they're all fat and stuff so it's just ball right now uh, which is fine and these guys are probably a little bit faster well no they're not the same they're just gonna be pregnant soon and it will be able to start having a, uh, a, a um, how can I explain this? A, uh, more of a stage, uh, multiple stages of growth with the pigs. That way we'll constantly have pigs that are growing up and ready to be, uh, slaughtered. And I won't have to wait too long for to slaughter a pig to get sausage going. So it's gonna be great. Uh, after this day, right now, it's gonna take a little bit longer for these, because I just killed off the last of the uh, big adults. And that's why I was able to get this much money right here. I got five, a little over 5000 About to get more. Uh, the goats are actually, actually making me a good bit of money right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. In fact, we got to milk them real quick before I even get started here. I want to go sell this stuff. And as you can see, there's a blueprint thing over there. And I'm, I'm about to explain that here in just a second. Let me milk these uh, goats here. And, uh, yeah. By the way, guys, if y'all liked this video, make sure you squish that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Just slap the notification bell. Future videos coming out. Just like this one. All right. Got that out the way. Uh, grab you. Come here, goat. Where you at? Oh, by the way, you notice, uh, the two baby goats that were here, they ended up being males, so I killed them. And I still have the one male over there, and it actually had a little bit of an orgy, uh, with two of the female goats. Like, as soon as it grew, grew up, so, uh... Not too many guys can say that. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, it's only 13. What the hell? What's going on here? Well, I'm, I'm missing uh, it's 5, 10, 15. should be right there. I'm missing one. There it is. All right. Plans for in here. What, what's some... Uh, okay, well, while I was doing that, I mean, while I was doing this thing, let me explain my plan over here. I want to do... Uh, see, re what the main reason why I went ahead and played a good bit off camera and got a little bit accomplished um, is because I wanted... One thing I promised with the series are uh, builds. Uh, mixture of function and form. Uh, something that looks aesthetically pleasing, but somewhat realistic, but still have a good uh, form to it. A good um, um, uh, functionality. You know what I'm saying? It's it's hard to mix those two. Usually I go hard. Most people go hard way with uh, hard one. They just go hard one way or the other, and uh, giggity. Uh, and um, end up with you know full uh, functionality with looks not looking that great unless you're a uh you like to have things you know done the best way possible then it looks good to you but so the idea is here is to mix them actually in the last ranch tour if y'all haven't seen that yet uh actually someone did that pretty well it, it looked good and it was um uh, they were able to manage that function and form and that seems to be the new meta with the game everyone is everyone is trying to do is trying to get that aesthetic look with the functionality without looking too you know factory-ish but at the same time, looking look, looking like uh, more authentic. So, uh, which actually in real life, far ranching, you know, farming is very factory, you know, based. Look some pictures of cow uh, farms, and you'll see it's very automated. So yes, uh, so this plan here, this is gonna be for the goats, goats only. I'm gonna have uh, a raised foundation in the middle, uh, fences on each side, and uh, those of you who know, raised foundation in the middle is gonna be great because I can look down on the goats and I can get a better angle on uh, milking so I uh, plan on getting a lot more goats pregnant I'm gonna have a whole goat area set up just for this and we'll, I'm gonna uh, for now I'm still gonna do all my processing in here I will do a build I plan to build a separate uh, milking I mean a, a cheese making uh, area which will not look like, look like a factory I will do my best to make it look as cool 
and uh, realistic at the same time as possible and be functional. Uh, this will be, however, the sausage making factory because this will be the two pig pins I'm going to have, female and male, and keep that whole process going. I might cut it down to size a little bit to where it's man more manageable. I'll probably release the chickens in one of these pins and let them be free, just the three or four chickens I have and not deal with uh, having an over issue of eggs and poop because that's one thing with chickens is uh, too much eggs will uh, slow down your game a lot FPS uh, and just in general it's just not good to have that many chickens and they don't make you any money and they eat an ass ton of food more so than pigs and uh, cows so yes um, next thing we, we gotta get this stuff sold uh, that stuff oh, that, that's done isn't it let's go and put you in here oh, that stuff's ready not, oh all that's ready nice about to make some money now. Grab you, grab you, grab you, and close you, and you empty. I think I have one that has some space left in it. Apparently, I do not. Okay, put you in there. Grab you. All right. We got some. Uh, these are all ready to go. And we got. Ooh, let me grab the uh, the truck here. Note to sell. Uh, do not pull trailer into my um, uh, warehouse. Not a good idea. Come on. You know how to do this. You know how to back up trailers. You even did a whole video on how to do it, so it's not like you don't know how to do this. There we go. We remember we remember things now. Yay. Oh man, okay, uh pork, pork meatball, don't have any one of those. The last I'm I've been getting a lot of multi good multipliers though lately. Uh yeah, a couple I got uh one point nine uh earlier and a lot of sausage. It was really good. I mean, that's not bad at all. Two thousand nine hundred and thirty for eight thousand dollars now. Hell yes, this is amazing. Uh Let's go and uh, sell these and buy an asset of wood, metal, and concrete. Uh, okay, cheap table saw uh, for 75 a piece. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, let's grab... How much is wood? Oh, $32 for eight planks. Okay, let's grab the metal we need first thing. All right, we're all loaded up. <laughs> a lot of stuff. By the way, guys, uh, I'm, I think I'm not sure if I apologize already or not. My nose is a little bit stuffy right now, so... Bear with me. Sorry for the sniffles. I will do my best to edit them out as possible. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, in the last ranch tours, I had me and uh, Iceman both had the sniffles pretty bad. So that was pretty interesting editing that. Uh, seeing, like, all right, listening for the sniffles, and like, all right, which one of us was uh, sniffling this time? Oh, that time it was both of us. We beat that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. The fun life of editing and this, uh, having allergies. All right, here we go. Let's go start placing. You know, let's, let's place the wood we already have on the ground. Maybe good idea. Okay. Oh, I forgot we gotta do all this mess. It is raining. Perfect for a uh, little um uh, uh speedy up thing. Oh no, it is not lined up. It is crooked as fuck. Oh no, shit, that is crooked. Oh god, that is so crooked. All right, here we're back here. I got um, uh, I told you I'm, I'm gonna do something nice because I got some greenhouse pieces here. And oh, let me put uh, that other greenhouse piece in there. There it is. There it is. Uh, right there. There we go. That looks better. This this will look nice. I got the uh, the doors right here. I mean, I don't plan on trying to run a box truck through here. This is literally just uh, that little truck there to come in and collect the milk. I'll have a uh, milk unique section. It's not exactly perfectly lined up, but what I'm gonna do is here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, demolish this foundation here. I think this one. I think this is the one that's in the way. And I'm going to try to put a fence here so I can use use this. Oh, no. Is that working? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to demolish this too. That uh, sucks. Okay. But it'll be fine because I can just build my, right back out. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, the ramp is still there. Good. We bring the fence over here. 
Well, I, I want to keep it symmetrical with everything else, so... Oh, it's not... ...to connect. Why are you not wanting to connect? Why are you no connect? Bump fence, connect... ...to the thing. Oh, no, I did it wrong end. I ended on this end. Shit. This is the end. Yeah, this is the end that needs to do it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay, I fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be wasting a lot of materials doing this, by the way, guys. Just so you know. <laughs> okay, let me come over here and demolish this piece. Oh god, which piece is gonna be? I'm gonna assume it's gonna be this piece here. Uh, both of them. Okay. And mosh both of these. That sucks. That kind of sucks right there. It doesn't reach as long. Like I said, I'm going to have to, um, um, there's something there to block that. Uh, we'll see. I can do, let's figure that out. I might just, you know what? Like I said, I'm wasting materials here. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna freehand it myself again because I don't I, I want that I don't want that big of a gap I really don't. All right, we're back with all the wood. All right, ooh, we can um uh, we can get up in here and ramp like this and make make this a lot easier. Let's see. No 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 no. Get up there. Here we are. Uh, oh shit. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that that was a thing that just happened. There we go. Please don't glitch. Now oh, we got this. One second. Watch this. Here we go. Boom. It's Kanoosh. Awesome. Alright. This is nice. We know I can fit all this stuff in here. Looks good. Alright. Let's go and get this out, out, out here. Fill it out real quick. There we go. That looks pretty good. That's not bad. I, can, I could. I mean, if. Oh man, if there's one mod I can have for this game, and that would be a no collision mod. Yeah, I can make so much uh, more nicer things if I had no collision. Anyway, so let's get this uh, fence uh, area done now. Alright, I need to test something out. I can't remember if goats will jump down a foundation or not. Uh, I just I remembered that, so I may have to figure something out with this. Bone goat. Test it out with the male goat. First step, will they, will they climb ramps? Yes, they will. Wait, I lost them. Let's see, will they come down here? Come here. Don't try to go around. Shit, okay. Can I build ramps down inside there? Alright, oh shit, where'd that goat go? Shit, stuff was going down in real life. Oh no, where's the goat? Where's the goat? What happened to the goat? I gotta figure this out. Where is the goat? Do to do to do. Where's the goat? There you are. Did you mate with the other goats? Maybe. That'd be kind of nice if you did. Um. And we gotta figure this out. How am I gonna get this guy in here? All these goats in here. All the goats. How am I gonna do this? Now this goat here, uh, I don't plan on actually having in here because I don't want it to get the other goats right. Well. Yeah, well, I'm, I might keep them in here for now. I might make a separate little uh, pin out, out on the side thing here. But, to get him in here... Ooh, I have an idea. Yes. Um, let's see. I think I know how this can make this work. Now, let's hope I have enough room to make this happen. I do. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Come here, come here, come here. Um... Grab my, uh... Where's my wood at? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> you over here. And what I'm gonna do is here, we're gonna um, uh, demolish all of these half pieces. And we're gonna fill them in. Uh, as we go along, come back, put a fence down. Now put a fence, put a fence, put a fence, put a fence. As we put the goat in the section. 
And that's how we're going to do that. So we're going to have to do. I ain't got much choice in the matter. But this guy here is not going to go here. He's going to go somewhere else. I'm going to build him his own little pin. All right, we're all set to go there. Now we just got to get food and stuff going for these guys. Uh, let's see here. Food trough. I might do the small ones just because they don't eat as much. And it'd be easier just to do this. And cheaper. So what we do is here. I'm thinking about I'm gonna put them around. I don't want to put them. I don't want to put them here because they're gonna. Uh, they can walk all over that. So maybe I can probably put these here. Thinking. You may be asking why am I doing this many uh, troughs? Is because they they may eat within three uh, distances of of them of, of uh, range wise, but. They um, uh, tend to walk around and get a bit in here, and if they're not around, they can be happily just be just. It's just better to have uh, in a one by one kind of thing like this. It's just a lot better. Things I've learned over the uh, several hours, I mean, several hundred or thousand hours now at this point, but as this game is, you, you don't want to take chances. And sorry guys, my nose just got crazy, really stuffy out of nowhere, so apologize. Alright, this side's done. Now let's do this side. I didn't put the water things down here, did I? No, I did not. I'm gonna build this. Uh do that water thing. Small water. Here we go, small water bowl. Oh yes. Okay. Put some food ones right next to each other there. Gonna space this out better. I could I could have I probably should have but it's uh too late now they're there so it's, it's uh, can't see them that that well so <laughs> it's, it's ugly but uh man is it ugly oh well now I know some of you are saying uh why don't I put three goats in one pin yeah you, know, you get or actually several uh or but the reason why is for that is uh the more animals in a one by one area. Increases the chances of them getting stuck in the fence and uh, getting themselves killed. So, yeah, that's why. I'm not doing that. Stay still, goat. There we go. Awesome. Buff guy can hold on to it by building. That's pretty cool. Alright, now you got food, you got water. We just gotta get another milker up in here. All right, I've uh, made a decision um, about the goats. I'm just gonna buy more <laughs> because um, it's just gonna take too long to get that thing uh, having more female babies. Because every baby I've had, pretty much, uh, I've only had one female of all of the goats I've had, which is about eight or nine. Uh, they were all male except for one. Because uh, we started out with two female goats, so we only have three now after breeding several times. Where am I going this way? You go this way. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and buy some more uh, female goats to fill in that spot. At least about four or five more. That's right. You only put you only put these guys in, in, in the truck. You can't put them in the trailers. That's right. And it looks so much better over here already now with all this. Uh, it looks so much better now. I love it. Uh, which side we put them on? Uh, let's put them over here. That way we can um, uh, put the milker in the middle, so we can get more milkers going. All right. What we'll do is we'll leave um, uh, this uh, one right here empty until um, this one has his baby. If his baby happens to be a girl, we'll put the girl right there because the boy will kill it. And uh, yeah, so that's going to work out great right there. And it looks nice and it's efficient at the same time, I think. And guys, that is going to be it for this, this video, guys. Um, uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, check out the Discord. Can hang out there. Hang out there. And uh, again, if you want to have your ranch tour on the ranch tour series, let me know, and we'll get you uh, set up there. Uh, just hope this uh, main thing is need somebody with a mic. If you don't have a mic, that's not a big deal. I can, uh, I can do a little feature of your your ranch. And guys, uh, also for the uh, today's sponsor for this video, of course, is Dubby. And I just got my uh, pack in today. I tried it. See, I don't, I don't really drink energy drinks at all, but I mean, I, I tried it. It was pretty good. It tasted like kind of like fruity pebbles. I, get, I drank that uh, dragon something. I'll put it up on the screen there for y'all to see what it is. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, it actually worked pretty I mean, it was like, I mean, I drank the first half of it. felt like I drank now two cups of coffee. It ain't got sugar in it, and it doesn't have aspartame. It actually has a sweet taste to it. I was kind of surprised about that. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it gives you energy. I mean, my eyeballs are darting around the screen right now. I mean, uh... I mean, 
I wouldn't say, I mean, I wish I had this stuff back in my Call of Duty days for sure. It definitely makes you more attentive uh, to your surroundings. A little bit faster reaction time. I wouldn't say you're making better. I might try to be those people, oh, it makes you better at video games. No, it just makes you move faster and think faster because you're all hyped up on caffeine. <laughs> I mean, sugar, if you added sugar to it, it might be a little bit too much. It might make you shaky, but there's no sugar in it. But it does, however. Tastes pretty damn good with some vodka, I must say. I'm not suggesting that y'all should do that. Especially y'all younger ones watching. You should be drinking alcohol or caffeine for that matter. It will stunt your growth. Uh, look at me, for example. I am uh, 37. I look like I'm about 19. And trust me, you think you might think that's a good thing. But trust me, it is not. Imagine trying to meet a, a girl's uh, son for the first time. And you're at the same, she, same age as you. Walk up, meets the sun, and he's like, looks older than you. Has a full beard, like six foot tall. Trust me, it is weird as shit. Trust me, you don't want to be looking like you're 19 when you're 37. It is not a good thing. Girls your age won't like it, and the younger ones don't like dating older guys usually, so it's very weird. Trust me. Don't drink caffeine and alcohol until you're at least 18, maybe 17. Oh, no, 18. I can't say 17 on YouTube. Get me for, uh, you know, well, 21. Don't drink 20. Don't, effectively, don't drink alcohol until you're 21. But don't drink it when you're a kid. Uh, it will mess you up. Anyways, uh, what's the next part? I was going to go over and check out the uh, merch store. I'm about to be changing some stuff in there hopefully soon. Just trying to get off my ass and make some new shirt designs and stuff. And uh, we got to kill that thing there. We, oh, it's dead. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, guys, check out uh, check out W. The link for the 10% uh, discount code is in the description below along with the website and the link to that uh, starter pack thing that I bought. It actually was worth it. Uh, it was pretty cheap, just so you could try everything out, and um, a ten percent discount will pretty much help pay off a lot of the shipping on that, which it isn't that bad at all. It took about uh, about two days from the shipping, it took about like um, three days to get here from from California, which isn't bad at all, honestly. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good. I'm I'm, uh, I'm gonna try the other flavor tomorrow. Can't drink no more tonight because then I'll be up on night because I have to work tomorrow. It would not be a good idea if you drink more caffeine uh, this late in the day, which is about seven, uh, almost eight o'clock at night, and I need to go to bed like an hour. I got to take a shower, and I'm like, oh shit, I am hyped up on caffeine, and how am I gonna go to sleep? So yeah, warning with that, uh, it does give you energy, and it will keep you awake. Uh, and uh, yeah, so and by the way, guys, you know the games that y'all want to see me try out or play. I, I recently just bought Poly Bridge Three. Uh, hoping to do that on the channel, but I uh, did not care for that game. It's not what I thought it was. It's way too damn... I mean, the first... It goes from being, like, super easy to being, like, super impossible really damn fast. I'm like, whoa, there's straight no way I can record this. Uh, trying to figure this stuff out, so it was just like, okay, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to do it, but you know, I'm out $20 now because uh, I tried that game. So let me know about some games y'all might be interested in seeing on the channel. Uh, hopefully Ranch Sim will get their update going soon. Uh, I mean, they have not released any information on it at all, not since Easter. So, and they said six to seven months with that back in December. And next month is the sixth month. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, guys. It was six months at the earliest, so July at the earliest for the next update. Probably August, September, maybe October, uh, depending on all what they're wanting to add into the Unreligion update and all that stuff. Which is just pets, and I think, um, um, with the pets and, uh, with the sheep, I think. Pets and sheep, or pets and something else. I have been pets and sheep, I can't remember. Uh, so I can't wait for that. When that does happen, I'll be just dissecting every aspect of that update and, uh, doing all the stuff and things, figuring it out for y'all, and get video out, videos out as fast as possible. Like, I won't even go by the uh, upload schedule. I'm just like, oh shit, updates out. Make video real quick. Put video out now. Two in the morning. Don't matter. It's going out. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention, um, uh, I did start the uh, membership thing for YouTube. Uh, you want to uh, have early access to content before it comes out a day, sometimes two or three days early. Pretty much as soon as I get it uploaded, I'll make it available for y'all. Sometimes I do, I had videos uploaded like a good five days in advance before they, uh, they actually go scheduled out, so I probably I'm gonna have videos going out for you guys as soon as they're out. So you might get two or three videos in a day. Yes, you know, so that's how it works sometimes. So also, if you want to have your uh, name and the credit roll at the beginning of the uh, videos, and have um, uh, you know, have access to, I'm gonna start doing uh, edit streams again. I used to do this back in the day uh, where I would go on Discord and I would start a, a live stream of me uh, 
uh, when I would edit a video and you can see the process and um, and uh, and um, uh, blah, 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 commentary and your opinion how uh, you know maybe give me some ideas that kind of thing on what you uh, what how it looks and all that kind of stuff and especially with thumbnails that was very helpful with thumbnails I had some of you guys helped me uh, come up with color palettes for uh, the uh, text and uh, cropping and all that kind of stuff that was pretty cool I had that feedback uh, it was very helpful so we're gonna start doing that again uh, that'd be uh, putting that stuff behind the paywall no I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out different perks to give you guys who those of you who want to do that and help the channel out, try and give you all this possible. I know this video is going on way too long. I'm, uh, I'm looking at my record time, two hours and 17 minutes, even though a good hour I, I was away uh, taking care of weird in real life issues. Uh, that kind of stuff. But yeah, guys, y'all, before I keep rambling on too long, y'all have an awesome day.